How to use Loom Screen Recorder, Loom Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll do a quick tutorial on how you can get started with Loom. So Loom is a online platform that enables you to easily record and share your videos. You can also do a lot of other features, including some basic editing, and you have multiple different use cases, such as team alignment, sales, engineering, design, marketing, product management, support, and education. This can help you in recording not only your screen, but recording yourself, your audio, and you can also share tidbits and have easy explanations and create a synced and a collaborative video for your team. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to loom.com. Now, once you are in loom.com, click on get loom for free on the top right. Once you do that, you can sign up with your work email or you can sign up with Google as well. So I'm just going to proceed with Google to get started with Loom and then just click on continue over here. Now we just have our basic functionality. So currently we are on the free plan on Loom, just like so. And now over here, this is going to be your dashboard. So in your dashboard, you will see you have a panel on the left where you can switch workspaces. This is our default workspace. And then you can see if you expand this, you will be able to see a detailed version. Then you have your home page, which will show you all of your recordings that you have created. Then you have a My Library section then you also have a notification section, watch later section, history, and settings section. Now in your settings, you have two basic options, your personal settings and then your workspace settings as well. So you can edit the permissions that you have on your workspace. You can rename it, add members as well. And this can help you in managing your content with multiple different members. So you guys can see this will also allow you to share your workspace content and you can turn on previews for Slack embeds as well. Now below that, we have a spaces section where we can build different spaces for different items. So let's say we want to build a space for marketing items or marketing content that we will be generating. So we can name that and enter the members that are relevant to the marketing team and build that segregated space. Now to actually get started with recording our video all you have to do is go on ahead and go into loom.com and once you log on to your dashboard you will see on your bottom left you have a record a video section so to be able to record a video you can click on record a video like this or record a loom so if you want to record a video on Loom, simply head on over to loom.com and once you open up your dashboard over here, you will be able to see you can click on record a Loom or you can click on upload a video. Now uploading a video and editing that video is a premium feature so keep that in mind whenever you are choosing your plan on Loom. However, to create our own basic recordings on Loom, it's very simple and easy. So you can click on record a video on the bottom left over here and once once you do that, you will be able to see what your basic video settings. So you have your screen and camera settings. Then you have your screen only. This will only record your screen. Then you have your camera only settings as well. So this will only record your camera on the bottom left over here. Now, if you want both, if you're doing explanation videos, if you're doing informative videos, if you're doing presentations, then you can choose both. And then on the bottom, you have your recording settings. So which camera you want to use and which microphone you want to use. Now let's say we want to do a camera and screen recording so you can click on start recording. Now before you do that you do have some optional recordings, recording options. So you have recording countdown. I do want a countdown and then I'm going to click on start recording with a five minute limit and then you can choose what exactly you want to record. So if you want to record your chrome tab, if you want to record your window, if you want to record your entire screen as it is. Now Let's say I want to record my particular window over here so I can choose that and this will only record this particular window instead of recording my entire screen. Now let's say I want to record my entire screen as it is appearing. So I'll click on share over here and now we have a loom preview. And just like that, Loom is now recording our video. So if I'm just scrolling on Loom or I open up Canva, I have a basic recording. And then I can just pause it over here or stop it from the bottom. So I can pause it to bring a break. And if I want to resume, I can resume. And if I want to end my video, I can click on the finish recording option. Now, once you finish a recording, you will be able to see the Loom editor. So in this, you will see your entire recording and then you can add comments as well 
as record a comment as well. Now, other than that, you will even see the Loom AI feature. So as you guys can see, they have edit by transcript. So you can edit your video with your transcript, which basically means you can provide. Just like that. So you guys can see this is our recording right now. And you guys can see you have your edit your transcript option, which will allow you to edit your video by providing a script. So you can maybe ask Loom to remove a certain section where you showed your address or remove a certain section where you showed your face. So you can do that as well. And then you have your trim and stitch which is their basic editor and then you can add a link over here that can help your viewers access certain databases that you might be talking about you even have your activity your transcript for your entire video you guys will see this is what i was talking about and this is you know uh, the actual transcript directly generated with ai from my loom recording i don't have to separately hire someone or i don't have to separately write down my entire transcript it just does it for us then you will have your views to be able to see who else has seen your video and then you have your settings so you have some options such as to enhance your video such as muting any filler words so filler words are like uh, any of those words if you want to remove those you can choose to remove them in text only or video only uh, text and audio now I want to remove them in both sections and then you can generate a video thumbnail remove any background noise as well as have your loom branded player and then you will have your animated thumbnail now once we have completed all of our settings we can go on ahead and just you know get started with the rest so let's say i want to go into edit and i'll show you guys some basic editing on loom as well so you can click on trim and stitch over here and you guys can see on the bottom you have your basic preview and we can split our video we can you know cut it maybe over here so i'm gonna make it a bit shorter and let's say i want to remove this section over here so i would split it over here and then I'm going to split it again at here and the, you know, central section, I can click on delete clip and now my clips can be joined as they are initially. So in this way, you can get started with editing on Loom. And once you have created your video, how you want it, you can click on save on the top right over here. And once you click on save, what you're going to do is you can go on ahead and click on upgrade to be able to download your videos. And this is going to be your basic space and you can click on more actions over here and you can duplicate as well as share this video with your social on social media platforms. You can import from Google as well as Slack and also embed this video into your website, blog or any other platform. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with loom it's pretty easy and simple and can save you a lot of time in recording presentations and some basic screen recordings so make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and for more content like this subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video and if i left anything out in this video or if there's anything else you would like to know leave that in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say